All right, all right. Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushai, Bahashim, Rakah, Kodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutation to Allah Akim, who did us doing the work in sincerity and charity with humiliation all across the four winds. To you, I salute. All right. Today, we got a good lesson lineup. You know, but what we're going to be speaking on today, we're going to be speaking on mainly uh, prophecy. You know, uh, pretty much what I want to touch on is uh, Israel versus Palestine, you know, uh, War 21. That's what the name of this lesson is going to be called. All right, because as you know, you know, uh, uh, Israel and Palestine, you know, they have basically an all-out war. Basically, basically a civil war that's happening over there in the east. All right, and all of that is a part of prophecy. All right, the wars and rumors of wars. You know, so that is what is going to happen before World War Three. All right, and all these are signs that Yahweh Shai tell us about before his coming. All right. Yeah, man, and the scriptures warn us that there's going to be a lot of commotion and wars and rumors of wars. All right. And the reason why that's like that is because, like I stated earlier, there are signs that we are coming to the end. Okay. So Yahweh Shai tell us that he was going to give us sign, give us these different signs to let us know that he is on his way. All right. And one of the signs are rumors of wars. Okay. Now, someone will just look at that and say, oh, that's just a war between... Um, two nations but without uh without knowledge of the scriptures without the knowledge of the prophecy you understand uh they'll think that that just war that you know that just two nations having a commotions and not a sign from yahweh Shai. all right yeah man so like i say these are signs and rumors of wars right before world war three all right and this commotion between Israel and the Palestinians, you know, this is this been going on for a while. This ain't nothing new. As far as the state of Israel, you know, fighting against Palestine. Right. You know, this commotion goes back as far as uh like I was telling the Akia before our generation was even born. Right. All right, they have this commotion, you know, fighting for this land that's even not their own. Right. All right. Because as you know, that land of Israel belongs to the descendants all right of abraham isaac and jacob Done. all right the true inheritance of that land all right the true inheritors of that land is going to be placed back in that land all right and before that could happen you have what's happening right now these commotions and wars between these two nations okay all right and when you look at it, this all over the news. See what I said? All over the news, all over uh, uh, social media. You know, even here, uh, uh, a few of my co-workers, you know, they're talking about it and they come coming to me, asking me about it, wanting to know more about it. All right? Yeah, man. Uh, one of the headlines you have there is uh, from CNN. It says, uh, tensions between Israel and Palestine and the Palestinians are sky high. All right, and really and truly, when you look at uh, at, at uh, these different videos and these different news articles, this is the worst that it has ever been. Because now, not only they shooting missiles on each other, you have the Palestinians shooting missiles in the city of Israel. You see what I'm saying? And killing and killing their citizens, killing civilians. All right, and then you have Israel shooting missiles on the other side. You know, killing the, uh, the Palestinian citizens. And guess what? You know, this is now move into the streets. Yeah. All right, like I was telling the Akia earlier. Killing children too. Yeah. Can. Killing children. What war you know don't have casualties? Yeah. All right. All right, so you have a, 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 a mid-scale civil war going on over there in that land between Israel and Palestine. All right. Like I tell the Aki earlier, do I say in this video with this Israeli guy, 
You know, he just get into his car and he just damn run over, knock down a couple of Palestinians. All right. And of course, you know, when that car stopped, they move in and they beat the shit out of him. They beat him to death. All right. And that's what's happening, man. All right. He didn't care. All right. You think he cared when he knocked those Palestinians down? He think he was doing something good because that, that spirit that was on him, all right, was the spirit of war. All right. He didn't care. The scripture tell you that man in the last time, the heart of man is gonna wax cold. See what I saying? So, in this time, we have to be more circumspect, man, because we living in times where a lot more people they just don't give a shit. That's it. <laughs> See what I saying? I mean, and we mightn't be experiencing that here on this side, but that's coming. All right. Yeah, man. So again, what is happening over there in the east? You know, uh, as far as this commotion, this commotion is going to graduate into a full-scale war. Right. See what I'm saying? Because, again, all right, this, this war has been taken to the streets between uh, the Palestinians and the, the Israelis. All right, not only between their governments, but also between their citizens. The Israelis, they don't like the Palestinians, and the Palestinians, they don't like the Israelis. They're fighting for that land. They think they own that land. All right? Yeah, man, because a lot of time, you know, government, they fight against each other, all right? And they decide to leave the civilians out of the way. You know, and the form, or they do that, you know, they have uh, what they call mercenaries going into these different countries, what's not, and putting sanctions, you know, on these different countries. That's how they go about it. But now, you ain't seeing that happen now. At least not between these two countries. All right, yeah, man. But the thing with war is, war is terrible, man. Because uh, a war, what war, you know, that don't have a, 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 a civilian casualties. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? All wars have civilian casualties, and now it, it escalated to that point right now. Tell the Israelis and the Palestinians, they don't care about that. They just want the Israelis dead, and they want the Pal and the Israelis want the Palestinians dead. All right, that's why everybody try to, you know, stay away from war because you always have civilians that get caught in the midst of that. See what I'm saying? But with this war, the citizens on both sides, you know, they down with their government. All right, and we saying that. Okay, but just with that 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 Jewish man, he opened his car and he just damn run over them civilians, right. the Palestinians. So that means he down with with is Israeli government, and the Palestinians seeing them knock down these people. What do you think they do to them? Same thing. All right. So this is a part of the scriptures, man, and these are signs of the times. This is the time we living in. All right, and that's the prophets of Yahweh, Shem Yahweh Shai. You know, it's our job, you know, to warn our people about these things. All right? Because, like I say, a couple of my co-workers, they came to me, and they asked me if I know about it. And, you know, of course, I say, yeah, I know about it. And I tell them, man, that's all prophecy. From the minute I start talking about prophecy, a couple of them, oh, I'm on iron into that. See what I'm saying? Yeah. That's how they go. Yeah. But, hey, the scripture tells us watch as well as pray, man. Because, check this out. All right, they had a full, I wouldn't say full scale war, uh, this, uh, a civil war between those two nations. And you see how that affect the gas prices? You see what I'm saying? Right. Now, that's gonna trickle down to here because I, you, you could bet your bottom dollar. You see when these gas station uh, uh, get their next shipment of gas, now the prices is gonna shoot up. Right. And we know that. Exactly. Right. All right. So what we're going to do, we're going to, like I say, we're going to touch a little bit on prophecies. All right. So let's get the book of Mark chapter 13, verse 7. All right. But before you get that, give me a uh, uh, second as 15 and verse 1. Saying that we're touching on prophecy. Right. Second as right. 15 and 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. Right. The Bible says, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. All right, and the prophecies actually them literally hop off the pages and manifest itself in real time. Done. 
All right, and that's what we're speaking about right now. Done. Giving you warning. Done. That said, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Read. Which I will put in thy mouth, said Yahweh. That's it. Read. And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Right. As they are faithful and true. Again, we speaking about these things. These things are documented right here in the scriptures. Okay, so the most high in line. All right. And we're gonna we're gonna show you that and we're gonna prove that. Let's get Mark 13 and 7 now. This All is right. Mark chapter 13 and verse 7. And we, and when ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, be ye not troubled, for such things must needs be, but the end shall not be yet. Done. All right, so the scriptures say, when you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, which that's going on right now. Done. <laughs> you see what I said? Done. That's going on right now. Wars and rumors of wars. Done. All right. The scripture the Akiah has brought out, he said he's going to be, he's going to speak out the words, of, speak in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. And he's going to be cause them to be written in paper for their faithful and true. Done. Let's turn on the news. All right. Uh, you could even damn Google Israel and Palestine. And you'll see all different type of articles and videos come up covering covering this particular topic. Done. All right, because this is true. Done. And this is documented here in the scriptures. Would be reading. All right. So if these niggas don't want to get it together, guess what? They're going to die right along with these damn Edens. Done. All right, so read that again. This is Mark chapter 13 and verse 7. And when ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, be ye not troubled, for such things must needs be, but the end shall not be yet. Done. So these things must needs be, right? Wars and rumors of wars. These things must happen like the scriptures say. All right. And this is going to happen prior to World War Three. Already they ain't talking about World War Three. It's speaking about wars happening between these different nations. Like they bucking up against each other. Like Israel and Palestine. All right, that's what this is talking about. And it's only going to get worse from this point. It, it can't. Like the Akiah says, it's only going to get worse. It have to get worse in order for it to get better. Because why? We coming into that time. Time of war. Okay. We coming into that time. Let's read on. Verse 8. For nations shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be earthquake, earthquakes in diverse places, and there shall be famines and troubles. These are the beginning of sorrows. Can for nation shall rise against nation. Like what's happening right now between Israel and Palestine. The Israelis and the Palestinians. Nation against nation. Can't. You see what I said? All right. We just talk about it. Can't. All right. And that's all prophecy. See what I said? That's all prophecy, man. All right. Also, to keep up with prophecy, you got to go into geopolitics. Like I was telling the Aki earlier, we have to go into geopolitics because it's almost impossible to keep up with prophecy if you don't keep up with, with geopolitical uh, events. See what I'm saying? It's almost impossible to do that, man. And not just the reality of it. See what I'm saying? Because it's important to go into geopolitics because then you would be more uh, able to explain uh, what is going to happen to who, all right, and who is going to do what and how this is going to go down, all right, so our people could better prepare themselves and get their houses in order. All right? So once you understand geopolitics, all right, it gives you a better outlook on on. Uh, the whole scope of the, uh, the situation at hand. All right. So let's read verse 8 again, Baba Kushia. Verse 8. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be earthquakes in diverse places, and there shall be famines and troubles. These are the beginning of sorrows. Can. All right. And that's what we're going to get into, the earthquakes in diverse places and famine. All right. So guess what? By this summer, the elites, according to their Agenda 21, all right, they have planned for a great famine. 
all right, such as uh, 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 food, all right, the essential goods of food, all right, what they're going to do, they're going to inflate the food, the food prices, all right, and, potential, and potentially they're going to uh, collapse the economy, all right, and we see we already have shit going on with the fuel prices, and the fuel prices is only going to continue to soar. You know, to add to that too, um, the same uh, government benefit that they was getting inside uh, inside the state, inside spiritual Babylon, you know, they uh, was looking to take that away early. They supposed to take it away from them in September, but they was, the, the articles read that they were going to take take it away earlier. Now, I don't I don't see how people can see what's going on because how is it that? They were giving they, they were giving the people unemployment benefit more than they was making when they were actually working, right? So they decided that the people decided that they are not going to go to work because the unemployment benefit was paying them more than actually working. And you know Jake's lazy. Done. So now that you became dependent on the government giving you that funds, and it cost those same jobs that you used to work through to shut down, now those jobs ain't available no more. So now when the government take away the unemployment benefit. You can't find a job because there are no jobs there, and now you're no longer getting no money. So what's going to happen? Done. You see, it's a slow, it's a slow economic collapse, but you could, you could actually see it happening. But Jake, so there ain't seeing it. Done. And this is a part of the elite's plan. Done. This is a part of Agenda Twenty One. Yeah. All right. Yeah, man. Like I say, and then on top of that, they plan to blame these hackers. Mm. All right for these uh, essential goods and, 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 and yeah. all this shit going up. Yeah. What type of hackers is apologize for what they do? <laughs> <laughs> you understand? Yeah. See, that's a part of their whole plan. But the yeah. scriptures say we are not ignorant of Satan's device. Yeah. That's why we could stand here today and report this to you. Yeah. Yeah. All right? Yeah, man. <laughs> all right? So that's going to take place, hopefully, by this summer going into the fall. So by the end of the fall of 2021, guess what? You're going to wish that you was in 2020. Economic hardship. You see what I said? And I promise you that. Because, and then another thing, we have farming coming in. And farming is totally different. Because farming goes back to the pale horse in Revelation chapter 6. All right? All right, and that's a whole nother level of destruction. All right, that our people haven't damn faced yet. These wicked souls, all right, of our nation haven't faced yet. All right, they they don't they haven't seen true famine. All right, they haven't seen true drought. All right, and that's what we getting ready to face. A whole nother damn level of destruction, and these are signs. Okay, before Yahweh Shai come, and the scriptures say these things must needs be. See what I said? All right. That's why us men of the Lord, you know, we have to use wisdom, man. So let's continue to be circumspect and to be wise. You understand? All right. So farming is on its way. Farming being on its way. All right. So from there, let's jump to 2nd Ezra chapter 9. All right. 2nd Ezra chapter 9. Yeah. 2nd Ezra 9 and 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee, to, told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is this very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Done. And that's exactly what's happening right now. The Most High Power, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh is getting ready to visit this place, man. All right, visit this world because... We in a time of justice, judgment, and equity. All right? That's what Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is sending through his son, Yahweh Shai. Again, he's sending justice, judgment, and equity. All right? And for judgment, justice, and equity to be established, that means great bloodshed have to happen. A great slaughter have to happen. All right? That's the status quo, man. And the status quo have to be taken away because guess what? The status quo is damn wicked and nothing but pure evilness, boy. There's nothing but pure evil and wickedness and that have to be taken away through damn great death and slaughter. 
You understand? So again, in order for judgment, justice, and equity to be established, great massacre and death have to happen. And that's going to happen through Yahweh Shai. All right, the brother always liked the post, Yahweh Shai wringing out the blood of this bed. But guess what? That's actually going to happen. You understand? Let's read on. Verse 3. Verse 3. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shall thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. Done. Well, we, we put three again. Three. Therefore, the second edge is nine and three. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world. Right. Which we see in that now. Okay. And yes, and we do damn have earthquakes. All right. All right, we do have earthquakes going back to um um, but the earthquakes a lot that Yahweh Shem Yahushai is, is talking about, that ain't the earthquakes we talking about. The earthquakes we saying um lately, he ain't talking about that. He's talking about these major shifts in this tectonic plates. You see what I said? Those damn seismic uh shift happening these tectonic plates, like the movie San Andreas. That's the earthquakes. That Yahweh Shem Yahweh is speaking about. Alright. Because as you can see. The Bible prophesy about these things happening man. And when when you see the, these earthquakes happen. Alright. It's going to shake the world. I mean literally shake the world. Because the amount of people that's going to die. Alright. That's why it's going to shake the world. That's the earthquakes what he's talking about. Damn. You understand? Like like they say uh California someplace in the San Andreas area, they overdue. Damn. But when you see that happen, millions and millions and millions of people are gonna die. Damn. Over there in Japan, Japan is literally gonna damn fall off the map. Damn. That's the earthquakes what Yahweh Shai is speaking about. Damn. That's the earthquakes what Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai is speaking about. Alright? And that's going to happen. That said the Lord. Alright. Why? Because this is the most high wrath. And this is the most high judgment. Alright. So that have to happen. And the scriptures say what? This must need be. Alright. So this have to happen man. That said the Lord. Alright. So but uh, going back to um, this all out war. Over there in uh, 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 the east, dealing with uh, the Palestinians and the Israelis. Yeah, man. All right. When you look at it, all right, the Bible says once the true inhabitants of that land goes back home, everything is going to be different. All right. So we're going to get the prophecy on that. And once we read the prophecy, let's see if those people who over there in that land, fighting for that land, let's see if they fit this prophecy. All right, let's get uh, Isaiah chapter 2. Let's read verse 1 and 2. All right. The book of Isaiah chapter 2, starting at the top. The word that Isaiah the son of Amos saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Most High's house shall be established in the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills. And all nations shall flow, flow unto it. John, all right now. When you look at it, I read an article and seeing a video um, a little under a month ago or about a month within that time frame. Israel is actually damn deporting people out of Israel. <laughs> you, see, you see that? So that right there lets you know that those people over there ain't the, ain't the true people. Because you have simple niggas. Who thinking, well, hey, they're going back. Who know there's Israelites? Who going back to Israel? All right. Now, what happened? The Israeli government deporting them. <laughs> you see what I said? But the scripture here says, all nations shall flow unto it. This is talking about when Israel, when the kingdom of heaven has already been established. All right, bring your precept. Right. This is the further solidify what the brother's saying, right? I can go straight to the point. And this shows you. Those 1948 is they ain't the real people of the book. Can. All right. This Isaiah chapter 60 
and go straight to the point. Violence shall no, no more be heard in thy land, wasting no destruction within thy borders, but thou shalt call thy, sal thy war salvation and thy gates praise. And that's talking about the land of Israel. Done. But you right see? now, you see, they damn have a big war going on. Done. All right. But let's read on in, in the book of Isaiah chapter 2. Verse 3. And many people shall go and say, Come ye, and let us go up to the mountain of the Most High, to the house of the power of Jacob. And he will teach us of his ways, and we will walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth the law, and the word of Yahweh from Jerusalem. And he shall judge among the nations, and shall rebuke many people, and they shall beat their swords in the plowshares, and their spears in the pruning ox. Nations shall not lift up a sword against nation, neither shall they learn war anymore. Gone. So basically what this is saying, once the true inhabitants Gone. of that land, all right, the true Israelites is back home in their land, they should be teaching peace. Gone. All right, so they should be their plowshares in the pruning hooks. Read that part again. Gone. And he shall judge among the nations and shall rebuke many people, and they shall beat their swords in the plowshares. And their spares in the pruning hook. Right. So they're going to be teaching peace. And all this damn war you see going on is going to stop. All right. But what is happening right now? All right. You damn got wars amping up. You see what I said? You got wars going on right now between the Israelis and the Palestinians. You see what I said? And that's going to continue to happen. And that's going to lead up straight to World War Three. All right. Which is a complete opposite of what Isaiah is saying. Done. All right, so he said, what, we ain't going to learn war anymore at all. Done. You see what I'm saying? So this is for the people who don't know who the true children of Israel are. Done. All right, because we just read the prophecy. Read that one more time, Baba Kushia, verse 4 again. And he shall judge among the nations and shall rebuke many people. And they shall beat, and they shall beat their swords into plowshares. And their spears into pruning hooks. Nations shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war anymore. Right. Nations shall not lift up sword anymore, right? And neither shall they learn war anymore. You see that? So how could them people over their damn fighting and got their own military, got their own army, damn. be the damn people? Damn. Damn. They ain't the people. Prophecy. That ain't lining up with this prophecy. Damn. You see what I'm saying? They don't fit these prophecies. So the people over there right now, they don't fit this prophecy. That's because they're not the damn people. Right. All right. As a matter of fact, the Most High is going to cleanse that land. Right. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Because he's going to allow some missiles to damn be dropped over there in that land to cleanse that. He's going to purify that. And the scripture say also, right. Salaki, right? I will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. Can. Okay. That's it. We in our own land. So how they get All right. <laughs> Talking about these same so-called niggas. What that, uh, uh, I forget what he named, man. That damn uh, 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 Israeli, what he call, he call us monkeys or something like that. God. That damn stinking, filthy, dirty kite. Because that's what he is. <laughs> He's a Malachite. God. You understand? I know why Saul damn disobeyed the Most High. God. You understand? Because if Saul didn't disobey the Most High, that damn stinking dog wouldn't open his mouth to talk no shit like that, boy. God. You understand? Calling the Most High special chosen people monkeys. God. You understand? By plenty, um, big chain can be wrong your damn neck in the kingdom, boy. Can't talk as shit. You understand? Can't. All right. But yeah, man. But we in a time of war. Let's get that, man. Because the scripture says a time for everything. Ecclesiastes chapter 3. We can run that straight down from the top to verse 8. All right. There's, there's a time for everything. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, starting at the top. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up that which was planted. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to get and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. 
A time to rent and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. All right, you see that? A time of war and a time of peace. It's been a time of war. You understand? All right, so we see what's going on, man. And we know what time it is. And it's definitely the time of war. No time of no peace. And I said, this ain't no damn time of peace, this is a time of war. Yeah, we say, shorty. Understand? We're in a time of war, man. All right, so it's going to be more wars and rumors of wars, man. And all this commotion is going to keep happening. And it's going to take us straight into World War Three. You understand? So again, it ain't no damn easy enough with this war. The brother stated earlier, it's only going to get worse. It's going to, it have to get worse in order for it to get better. Done. You know? So yeah, man, um, that's my two cents dealing with Israel versus, the Israeli versus the Palestinians. All right? Now, another thing what I want to touch on. All right? Dealing with that juice. <laughs> that sweet juice. You understand? And our people so damn stupid. You understand? That's good for them, man. You get our people damn getting juice up. <laughs> you know? <laughs> That's it. You know? They getting wired up, man. Getting juice. You know what I mean? As the saying over here, you get juicy. <laughs> they juice you, eh? They juice you, eh? <laughs> you understand? Well, well. Now we seeing that more than ever. It's me and Akim, yeah, we did a we we did a, 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 a video a little while back. All right, but that page got taken down. Done. All right. Speaking about the body count from the juice. All right. This damn sweet juice is gonna have a high body count within this country. Because before they roll that out. Me and the Akim here, we was warning the people not to take it. Done. You understand? But these niggas, you understand? These niggas, damn, they flicking, flock to them damn holiday houses and they flock to these clinics to get juice up, boy. Wicked niggas are that too. Wicked niggas. Now you see what's happening? All right? You see what's happening? Foist it gone from Bell's palsy to facial paralysis. Now you could actually pick up a radio station in your damn head. <laughs> blood clot too. Blood clot, yeah, you forget the blood clot. Man. From facial paralysis, the Bell's palsy, the blood clot, the dog picked up radio station in your head. Right, a nervous disorder too, I find it. Gun. You understand? So now, all of that, now you could actually damn walk around with a damn uh, coin or something attached to your hand, boy. Alright, all that radiation and frequency, boy. Gone. Now, what do you think can happen? <laughs> After a while, once it and get you wired up to that point, once it and get you juice up to that point, guess what? That same damn chip that's in that juice, because the Akia brought out a video, they got the, 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 the uh, juice under a microscope. And what we get to find out is that that thing is laced. That juice is laced with a chip. Yeah, for chip. With a purple chip. <laughs> you understand? So now guess God. what? Guess what? He saw just touch that dial a little bit. And everything damn magnetic could actually yeah. attach the yeah. arm. Oh, so right. is attaching yeah. pennies and, and, a, and a penny. The, the spoon. God. You Salaki, know? Salaki, right? Not to cut you up. And this, right. this, will, this, this all show you. This, this, all this. This is a precursor to what's coming. This all goes hand in hand. Can. All right, this all goes hand in hand to what's coming. But you simple, naive people don't believe that. Can. Y'all got to test the waters yourself. That's it. So, now when you see Esau just touch that dial a little bit, you niggas is going to damn go to your head completely, boy. Can. Boy, that ain't, that ain't there for no water. They, they basically in that water. You understand? Because a little while back, for, for a long time, we were saying that, that, that our RFID microchip, that have a frequency in it. The sand um, waves back to your brain. Shit. You understand? But now that shit is in you and your bloodstream. And guess what? You now ain't have no connection to the most high. You niggas. That actually takes out a piece of your DNA. 
and replacing it with something synthetic. Can't. That right. tricks your body into thinking it's natural when it ain't. Boy. That's it. I see uh, there's an article where a person said when they took the sweet juice, like they felt like God left them. Right. They, they killed God. Can't. They killed the God inside them. Boy. That's some shit. But now guess what? We have this nigga. All right. Yeah, she's a woman, but she's considered as a nigger. All right, because what these companies doing now, because over here you have uh, what they call sweet juice hesitancy. God. You understand? So now we have these, uh, these the, the, the hospitality industry, what, they, what they're doing, they offering you, they offering their, employ, their employees incentives. You understand? As a matter of fact, I just watched a video no later than this morning. I think with the elder brother Yashi Wamba post. All right. They actually paying these people $50 to flick it, get juice up. Even a, even in another state of lottery. Can. In lottery. You understand? Who will take that job? But, but over here, you have this particular company. They offering their employees... Uh, half a day pay if they get juice up. You understand? One of the brothers from GMS Nassau camp, all right, he posts a video in the group where this nigga take the sweet juice, get sweetened up, you know, get live around 3 o'clock that afternoon. By 8 o'clock, you've been in the spirit world. You understand? But guess what? We ain't sorry for that nigga, boy. You know? Because the scriptures say what? Who will pity your chama? God. You see what I'm saying? Then you have lead these leaders in society. All right? You gotta listen. Right. You have these... Uh, let's talk about the prime minister. All right, let's talk about the modern day king himself. You understand? He's saying he take, he take in the sweet juice, but then he get the cow on the damn needle. <laughs> you understand? The syringe damn empty. You see what I'm saying? But he's saying he got it. But then you got these damn pastors telling these people to go and take this job, boy. You know? All right. You can bring your priest up, oh, then you can get to rock. Chapter. It says, this Matthew 16 and 25. You know what? Let me start at 24. Yeah. Matthew 16 and 24. Then said Yahushai unto his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it, and whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. <coughs> you have those people out there who are taking that sweet juice, thinking they're saving their life, thinking they're prolonging their life, and in actuality they're losing it. Yeah. You see? Then you have... The prophets of Dell, the believers of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, who we ain't down with that sweet juice, who who just who just you know just drinking pure water, just drinking this truth, you know we losing inside the carnal sense, but we gaining inside the spiritual sense. You yeah. see, we losing our life carnally, you know, but we gaining the life spiritually, eternal life, right? Verse well, twenty six, because the Ark brought out the company is giving incentives for them. To, 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 to go and drink that juice, right? What's $50, $50 a half day's pay? Come on, man. Verse 26. Matthew 16 and 26. But what is a man profiting if he shall gain, if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? So, y'all giving up your soul for $50? That's what y'all worth? <laughs> Did y'all know That's it. the average so-called black man, <coughs> the melanin alone inside your skin is worth up to $7 million? God. Google it. The God. melanin in an average black person's skin is worth up to $7 million. Just the melanin alone. And you're selling your soul with the most I give you for $50 or a half day's pay. God. Boy. All right. And they call us crazy. You understand? That's it. Alright. But guess what? 
These niggas, them, they ain't, what we saying is gonna go over their head. They ain't gonna take heed to nothing. See what I'm saying? They ain't gonna take heed. All right. But guess what? The bodies is gonna pile up. The body, the bodies is gonna damn. The body count from this sweet juice is gonna be high. Okay, and we're gonna sit back and we're gonna continue to do videos on this. All right. But when things like that happen, we can be like, man, that's damn good. You understand? You know why? Let's read. This is Sirach 12 and 10. Never trust thine enemy, for like as iron rusted, so is his wickedness. Right. Okay, the other day you had Bill Gates come over here, he had a meeting with the modern day king. Ain't nobody know what that meeting consists of. When he damn leave, now all of a sudden, this damn sweet juice come around. See what I said? Read on. Though he humble himself, and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him, and thou shalt be unto him as if thou hadst wiped a looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust had not been altogether wiped away. Right, we can see straight through this devil, man, even though he damn come and we present this damn sweet juice, you understand? We still ain't trusting that because we know he have something behind that. You understand? All right, read. Set him not by thee, lest when he had overthrown thee, he stand up in thy place. Neither let him sit at thy right hand, lest he seek to take thy seat. And thou at the last remember my words, and be pricked therewith. All right, read. Who will pity a charmer that has been, that has bitten with a serpent, or any such as come nigh wild beasts? Read. So one that go to a sinner, and defile with the sins, who will pity? Right, unless one goes to the sinner, the sinner is speaking about the so-called white man. Esau or Edom. All right, he says, who will pity your charmer? You understand? All right, so guess what? If you're playing around with a damn snake, and you get bite, you luck for that. You understand? Because that snake is a snake. It ain't like you ain't know that ain't no snake. You know the snake is dope. Well, through the course of history, it, it, like how it just evolved, right? But yeah, yeah, the scriptures say never trust thine enemy, right? It start off, they break you by they beat by beating you physically, right? So they break your skin, and then they beat they beat a, a doctrine into you, so now they they affect your thinking, your way of thinking. That develops self hatred, right? And now the people are waking up. They go into the next step now, where they trying to they trying to tap into your soul. You see what I'm saying? So all, all they do, the hatred for the hatred for us is still there. Esau still hates so the, the hatred. He ain't gone nowhere, and they just evolved the way how they they get to us. You see what I'm saying? They can't. Wait, it, it, it's Done. powerful, but Done. It's mind boggling, and you have our women out there who still going out there mixing and mingling with them, you know. Done. You know the scriptures say, "Who will pity your charmer?" Pity your charmer. Done. So guess what? When they done get juice up. And they done start them falling out. Yeah. All right. And they ain't waking back up. We're going to sit here and we're going to laugh at you. Yep. You understand? Because you know what they say. Oh, don't listen to social media. Don't listen to them niggas talk fool on YouTube and Facebook and Damn, social like, media. and things. That's like what they say. like to say. That's what they like to say. But that's where all the information is. Damn. You understand? That's where the truth is. Damn. You see? But all right. So lock you right. So when, when we see that happen, we're going to laugh at you, boy. We ain't gonna have no remorse, we ain't gonna have no compassion, we ain't gonna have no damn pity on you, boy. We just can sit there and laugh and talk shit about you. You know? You got it up. Gone. Even over here in our country, when the early start of the in, uh, distribution distribution of the juice, alright, there was this 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 uh doctor over there in, in, in Freeport, Grand Mahama, stating that his family took the juice and what happened is that you know he had to do a uh, emergency procedure because blood clots okay rare blood clots you understand and you know what he said he said man look here he said he ain't no anti you know what i mean anti juicer but he said you know what i mean he wouldn't recommend nobody to take the juice you understand and people say oh he lying he, they, they, they saying no that ain't no true but the man come on on, on, on national TV and, say, and state that, 
You know what I mean? But our people still don't believe because they know why they're simple and naive. Dan. You understand? Yeah, still man. Still go take it. Yeah, man. Jake, back out out here, man. Sorry. You know, it's, uh, it's in the book of Psalms, chapter 52. You know, just giving the account of, of, uh, of Doeg and David, right? In Psalm 52, starting at the top, it says, A Psalm of David, when Doeg, the Edomite, because they are our enemies from ancient times, right? Came and told Saul and said unto him, David has come to the house of Ahimelech. Why boasted thou thyself in mischief, O mighty man? The goodness of Yahweh endured continually, right? Thy tongue devised mischief like a sharp razor working deceitfully, as they do it now. Verse 3, thou lovest evil more than good, and lying rather than to speak righteousness. Lord. Thou lovest all devouring words, <coughs> O thou deceitful tongue. Yahweh shall likewise destroy thee forever. So that, that's a cut to your Christians who saying, you know, the Mosai saving come to save everybody. Yeah. You see? Yahweh shall likewise destroy thee forever. He shall take thee away. And pluck thee out of thy dwelling place and root thee out of the land of the living. See law. The righteous also shall see and fear and shall laugh at him. You see that? Done. Laugh at his destruction. Done. Verse 7. Lo, this is the man that made not Yahweh's strength, but trusted in the abundance of his riches and strengthened himself in his wickedness. As he saw us doing now. Like Doc said earlier, we can laugh at them. You see, and everybody who take that sweet juice, you pretty much considered in you you pretty much siding with the enemy. You pretty much siding with Esau, so we can laugh at your calamity as well. Done. You ain't to us, you ain't no different than them. That's it. All right, and the most I mean that boy because yeah, that's that's I, I can prove it to you right now. Uh, further expound on what the Ark is saying. Let's get our uh Isaiah chapter thirty. Done. This is Isaiah 30 and verse 1. Woe to the rebellious children, said the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. You see that? Say, woe to the rebellious children. All of y'all who go on and take that job, the scripture said destruction to you. You understand? Because I had a dream a little while back. The Most High showed me clearly in a vision that for everyone who take that job, he is going to destroy. All right. The scripture say what? Woe to the rebellious children, right? Read. That take counsel, but not of me. And that, that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit. That they may add sin to sin. Right. You see that? That take a covering that is not of me. And that is not of his spirit. The Akiah brought out, those that seek to save their life shall lose it. Right. You understand? Because you cover yourself with what? This, this reduce. Right. But not of the spirit of the Most High. Trusting in the shadow of Egypt. All Trusting. Can't. You see what I say? And you believe in, in this system, so guess what? You're going to damn crash and burn right along with it. Yeah. All right, read on. It says, that walk to go down into Egypt. Right, see that? That walk to go down to Egypt, this system. Yeah. You see that? So you make yourself a part of this system, right? Read. And I've not asked at my mouth. Read. To strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh. Right, they believe in this damn system wholeheartedly, well. All right. Don't oh, don't listen to what don't don't listen to what uh, they saying. Don't listen to social media. Don't listen to them Israelites on YouTube. Yeah. You understand? All right. Read on. And to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Therefore, shall the strength of Pharaoh be ashamed, and the trust in the shadow of Egypt. Your confusion. That's it. I'll read that part with the shame again. Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame. Right, therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh, the system, you can damn be shame. You understand? Because now here yeah, there's now everyone who done take this job, everyone done pretty much know you's like a damn magnet. <laughs> God. Yeah. I'm oh, telling boy. you. Because guess what? Right? I have this cold wake up. She took the jab. And when I show that in the scriptures, when I show the video, this woman was shame. Gun. Yeah. Gun. You understand? 
She was shamed and scared. Yep. It, it, it is so beautiful. The most I bring in everything into fruition, man. You know? <laughs> if we say in real time, eh? Can. She said, man, I even ain't taking a next job. I said, well, too late. She said, you might as well take it. <laughs> you understand? Oh, boy. You might as well take it because that next job now, like, like a comment on, on Facebook, say, man, the next job now, you should be able to pick up all these radio stations. <laughs> God. You understand? God. Yeah, boy. God. You walking around with a radio station, you damn wired fully. You understand? And we can laugh at this thing now. Because we've been yeah. warning you and telling you, don't take this juice. Nah, uh, you're still going ahead, all right. I want normalcy. You know, I want things to be going back to normal. Ain't gonna happen. All right? <laughs> That's the shame right there. The juice has it see now it's gonna climb. Okay. Book of Proverbs chapter 1 and start of verse 22. It says, How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. We already have given them the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the most high, but yet they reject it. Because why they love foolishness? They like slackness. You see? Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I have my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. Because I have called and ye refused. I have stretched up my hand and no man regard it. The most I call is, is sending his prophets out on the road, teaching his word. Right. But yet, the nation of Israel, Jake's out there, they're refusing it, right? right. But ye have said that not all my counsel, and with none of my reproof, as long as we've been out there telling people about that sweet juice. Right. They ain't hidden the counsel from us, because why? Like, like the Akin brought out earlier, inside they last, because why? We ain't, we ain't inside no nice suit, we ain't driving no Jaguar, and we ain't inside no big super mega church. Right. Right? <laughs> verse 26. I read verse 25 again. But ye have said that not all my counsel, I would not and would none of my reproof. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. Like we is doing now, like like that brother earlier. She Ooh. was shame. Gone. Who will pity your jammer? Gone. You see? The most I say you can laugh at y'all. All y'all who, who take that sweet juice and saying, or oh, uh, Jesus be a fence. Or, or, or the Lord is with me. The most I God. laugh at you when you say that. Right? All right. It, and another thing they do, right? When they don't get juice up and they get their card, they take a picture of that and post it on Facebook God. and put it on their WhatsApp status saying, I got mine. Nope, you understand? Shipping. But now, but now you damn shame to put up your shoulder or your arm with your spoon on your side. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? <laughs> yeah. God. Verse 27, like the Ark was saying, when your fear cometh as desolation, because you're scared now, right? And your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, meaning to root up all your shit. When distress and anguish cometh upon you, because you're scared for your life now, you just see one drop dead because of they because they drain the sweet juice, right? Watch this. He always saying he coming, he don't ever reach. Verse 28. Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. You see that? Yeah. Don't bother calling on the most side. Nah, he ain't in there. He can laugh at you. Yeah. And you know how he can laugh at y'all? By us laughing at y'all. You're damn right. <laughs> he ain't gonna come off his throne and laugh. Uh, come and laugh with you personally. He can use us to laugh with you. Yeah. So I got a precept to add that, add to that to sum it all up. This Psalms 94 and 8. It says, Understand, ye brutish among the people, and ye fools. When will ye be wise? <laughs> you know, the words I say, stop being stupid and wise it up, man. All right, all the information is out there. You know? Who listen to him shall dwell safely. Done. That's it. All right. Yeah, man, so that's my take on that, saying that we already starting to have some, some bodies under the sweet juice. All right. Got it out. Well done. Yeah, man, I want to get in the lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. You know, it's entitled Exercise and Patience in These Times. 
Gang. You know, Lord willing, this be edifying to, you know, listening, you know. You know, it, it is a very important to have patience in these times that are upon us. Because with patience comes suffering, right? Gang. And that comes in so many ways, right? It is you when you least expect sometimes, you know, but nevertheless it's necessary that you have patience to make it through these times, okay? Because when we look at our forefathers on how they dealt with situations when the Most High put them in certain positions, they had to endure, all right? To get delivered not in their own times, all right? You know, not in their own time, but in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai's time, all right? Showing that patience, you know what I mean? Okay? Even in the life and death situation. Okay? Patience is the key to salvation. Okay? Patience is the key to salvation. You need patience. Okay? Because guess what? Even, you know, even though we know that the white man is going to get destroyed, right? All right? And he yeah. coming down a great rock. Okay? We can't fight him. All right? We can't. We can't fight him. He's a worm. I'll, will we That's get it. to fight this devil? Yeah. All right. Will we get to fight him? All right. We know that we want to get delivered out of Jacob's trouble, but guess what? We still got our patience. All right. Okay. That's why the Lord told us this. Patience is important. All right. Uh, you can get the first scripture, Zephaniah three and eight. Okay. All right. We know we can't take down this devil. All right. We got to wait on Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. And let's see what he tell us to do. Done. This is the book of Zephaniah chapter 3 verse 8. Therefore, wait ye upon me, said Yahweh, until the day that I rise up unto the prey. For my determination is to gather the nation that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them my indignation, even all my fierce anger. For all the earth shall be devoured with fire, with the fire of my jealousy. You see that? The Lord said, Therefore wait ye upon me, said the Lord, all right, until the day that I rise up to the prey. So I could just go look at that word wait uh, in the uh, concordance, all right? So this, 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 this word is very important. Yahweh shall I tell us, Yahweh Shem Yahweh shall I tell us to wait, all right? And in waiting, you got to have patience and enjoy, all yeah. right? You got to enjoy. And when you enjoy, you're going to be afflicted. Damn. All right? Yeah. All right, the word wait, which means shoka. Meaning to wait, wait for, or wait. To tarry, to wait for, long for. Meaning properly to adhere to, hence to await, long tarry, wait. Yeah. So, so basically, you know, what it says, long tarry. Yeah. So that means to wait. Wait on Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. So you see the Lord tell us to wait on him till he rises to the break. All right. And like I said, in, in, me, in waiting, it means you have to go through all the process of enduring and suffering till he comes back. Done. Okay. It's not going to be easy, but it's necessary. Okay. Because like I said, patience is the key to salvation. Yeah. All right? And a lot of guys fell out in times fast because what? They lost patience. Okay? All right? And let's hear what the scriptures say on that because, you know, I guess the most I, you know, came into a little experience a couple days ago. You know what I mean? And it felt so, you know what I mean, just frustrating, going through that little process. You know what I mean? For those couple of days. Even though I got sort sorted out not in the time that I, I wanted to, but in this time. And and I one thing I learned from that is to have patience. Alright, because you got you're gonna get afflicted in times. Alright, especially in these times where it's gonna get harder for everyone else. You know what I mean? So you gotta have patience. What scripture? Yeah. All right. This is the book of Sirach, chapter two, verse fourteen. Sirach, right? Sirach, 
stock up. I want to do a stock up. Keep the stock on me. Um, uh, yeah, you can start to the first verse 12. All right, this is the book of Sirach, chapter 2, verse 12. It says, Woe be to the fearful hearts and faint hands and the sinner that goeth two ways. Woe unto him that is faint hearted, for he believeth not, therefore he shall not be defended. Woe unto you that have lost patience, and what will ye do when the Lord shall visit you? You see that? Okay, the scripture say, Woe unto you that have lost patience. The, bro the brother just brought over woe means destruction. Okay? Woe means destruction if you lost patience. Okay? The scripture say, you jump up the verse, uh, jump up the verse 2. Verse 2. <laughs> Sirach 2 and 2. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in time of trouble. Right. All right, said that set your mind and set your, set your mind all right and constantly endure. With enjoying, you got our patience to suffer. All yeah. right, that's what enjoy means, our patience. All right, you know you're gonna suffer. Okay, don't make haste in the time of trouble. Okay, but you get, you know what I mean. Some people, especially people out here in the world, they don't want to go through nothing. They want to suffer. All right, yeah. we know what it is to suffer. All right, we know what it is to go through hardship and hard times. All right, that's why these people going to run and take these jobs anyhow. Done. All right. Okay. But guess what? You know, like the scripture say, man, woe, woe unto you. Lucky, right? Like the scripture say, man, woe unto you that have lost patience, man. All right? Because guess what? If you start to lose hope, then your faith decreases. Done. You're damn right. All right? You start to lose hope, then your faith decreases. All right, then you go back into the world. All right, all right. What does scripture say now? I think Luke, no man that put their hand the plow fit back, you know. You be nine sixty two. Done. All right. Done. It was in fit for the kingdom of heaven. Done. So guess what? The Lord is gonna punish you for that, man. All right. Cause two things the Lord lead you to the truth for. For he is for salvation or he is destruction, man. Yeah. All right, so if you lost patience, the end result is not good. Yeah. All right, that ain't good. So you see, it's necessary to have patience until the Lord comes comes back and exercise it in these trying times. Yeah. All right. But let's see what Yahweh Shai also told us to get a scripture. Yeah. You know this, uh, one of my favorite books. Yeah. You know this, the book of James chapter 1 and 2. It says, my brethren... Count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations. Yeah. Knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. Yeah. You see that? Patience. You have to have patience when you fall into these temptations. You see? Because that's the most I try in your faith. You see? And verse 4 says, But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. You see that? So when the most I put, when you go through these temptations, you know, when you have patience, when, when, when you feel like all, like everything's lost, when you keep that patience, that's you keeping that faith. And at the end, the most I can deliver you. You see that you don't want for nothing. You see? Yeah. Son, if the brother say we're going to suffer, if I just could add this quick precept in, you know. This is the book of Romans chapter 5. Yeah. Started very straight. And not only so, but we, but we glory in tribulations also. All right. Knowing that that tribulation worketh patience. So like the Aki was saying, when you go, um, going through that suffering, you got to endure. Yeah. All right. Because through that uh, uh, suffering, through that tribulation, you're going to exercise patience, right? And patience experience. Yeah. All right. So now you're getting battle ready. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Okay, and experience hope, yeah. which goes back into your faith. So, while you catching hell and going through the different tribulations and shit, that is going to build your faith. Yeah. All right? Yeah, man. You got it. Yeah, let's, let's get it on the mode of Yahweh Shai, man, uh, for patience. All right, uh, Luke 21 and 19. All right. This is the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 19. It reads, then your patience possesses your souls. 
says, in your patience, possess ye your souls. Done. All right. We'll look it up on uh, the, the importance now. 21 and 19. In your patience, possess ye your souls. All right. Let's go look up the word of patience mean. Done. In your patience, possess ye your soul. All right. Let's go and look up the word of patience mean. All right, the word patience. <coughs> Upomene. Upomene. Steadfastness, constancy, endurance. So, last year, read it again. Steadfastness, constancy, endurance. That's what I want to get endurance. So, you know, so basically, in our endurance, because that our patient goes back to endurance. All right. Possess your souls, meaning it will protect your life. All right. All right, read it again, Baba Kusha, uh, uh, Luke 21 and 19. All right. Luke 21 19. In your patience, possess ye your souls. Okay. In your patience, possess ye your souls. It's going to protect your life. All right. Because the more you enjoy what's coming, it's going to be better. All right. It's going to be better for you. You know what I mean? You don't, you don't lose patience. Because everything with Yahweh Shai talk about that would happen. Once you enjoy it, it'll be better for you. All right. Cause you know what's coming see another thing too right the christian concept is that you know what i mean they can get raptured up before the tribulation that's flicking madness God. all right that's pure madness all right and your patience possess your soul and your patience you gotta suffer God. all these things were coming on this earth you gotta suffer we 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 ain't really see nothing yet God. all right you stick it out uh get uh i think it's luke 24 and 13 all right let me show over this block here, right? I didn't look 24 and 13. Alright. And we hold it over there. No. Uh, Luke 20. He doesn't enjoy it to the end. Alright. Matthew 20. Ah, uh, Salah. Gone. Alright. You know, uh, I just want to go into that word endurance. You know, that the that doc mentioned, you know. The, 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 the meaning of that word, the ability to endure an unpleasant or difficult process or situation without giving weight. You know, and other, other terms for that is toleration, you know, sufferance, yeah. fortitude, yeah. patience, yeah. acceptance, stoicism. That's one, that's the, uh, that's the apostle, one of the apostles' favorite words, the apostle the boss, stoic, to be a stoic. Staying power, perseverance, persistence, determination, tenacity. Matthew 24 and 13. But he that endured unto the end, the same shall be saved. He that endured unto the end, yeah. the same shall be saved. The Christians get this theory like uh, you can get raptured up before the, the, before the tribulation. And you can never find rapture in, nobody, in the scriptures. You know what I mean? It don't yeah. work like that. You got to you gotta, you gotta have patience and enjoy these times. All right? Okay? So that's what it is, man. You know what I mean? You have to suffer and go through these times first. The worst times ever. God. All right? So, in your patience, all right, it's necessary, all right, for you to get salvation out of this place, right? Because guess what? Patience produces character. Got it. All right, that's what patience do. Let like the brother brought out in uh, 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 Romans, the fifth chapter, that, that produce your character. character. And, the patience, and all the suffering is going to make us perfect. That's it. All the suffering we go through is going to make us perfect, man. So, we just have to keep on going through this and have patience, you know what I mean? And said he unto them, nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against Devil. kingdom. And great earthquakes shall be in divers places, and famines, yeah, man, and so, pestilences, and fearful so, sights, You know, we gotta keep on enjoying until that time come, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? These, they shall lay their hands on you, and Salakia. persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues, and into prisons, being brought... Yeah, Salakia, yeah man, these... Yeah, man, we just got to keep on holding on to the end, man. You know what I mean? I just want to bring it a little quick. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, one little more scripture. You know what I mean? Because in yeah. time to come, it's going to be very bad. Okay? You know what I mean? Yeah. It's going to get worse. You know what I mean? These people ain't see nothing yet. You know, we brought it to you. We, we come with y'all week in and week out. All right, telling you of the times we're coming. But our people don't want to listen. But we enjoying, we suffering. We going through the persecution, whatever. Yeah. All right? In our home, whatever, you know, experiencing all kind of different shit. But we still enough we still have patience waiting 
right. on your album by Shimmy O'Shea because we know he's, he's going to come back. Right. I just was talking to an asshole last night. So he was my, <laughs> uh, he was my friend, right? All right. He talking about y'all wish I ain't coming back. All right. What you think we waiting on? All right. What you think that we waiting on? We believe in the prophecies. All right. We enduring. All right. Like the scripture bringing out in Zephaniah, the third chapter in verse eight. All right. The Lord said, wait on him. All right. We don't know all these things what's going on. But this asshole still we ain't say. This asshole still saying that y'all wish I ain't come back. All right. That's why the most I can destroy a lot of these fucking wicked niggas, boy. You know what I mean? Sick of these damn niggas, boy. Sound like Salak here, right? Sound like he grew up in a Christian home, man. Yeah, boy. You know, because I see the elder brother Yashi Wamba. You know, he did a beautiful video going into them Christians. You know, and you had this pastor teaching his congregation not to keep the laws of the Most High. Can. You understand? He said, uh, uh, the Ten Commandments, he don't keep them. He said that the Bible itself have uh, 613 laws and he don't keep none of them that's what he say out of his own mouth you understand but we know guess what we know that the laws and prophecies go hand in hand Man. if he said that that means he commit murder that's it that means that means he could do whatever you see what i'm saying and he ain't trying to keep none because he like that oh um he say uh if you offend in one you offend in all but that means he don't understand the scriptures. He don't understand uh, uh, Yahweh Shah. He don't understand grace. Man. You know? Man. But that's how these Christians go, man. Yeah, man. So, you know, when, when the destruction starts, by being a feel sorry for these wicked people, we can continue to draw and have patience and wait upon the Lord, man. You know? Through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemi Yahweh Shah and enjoy to the end. Man. Man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Man, you know, scripture, when, we, when all that hardship is going on with these people, scripture tells us, Behold my servant can do. Can. And the most I ain't, the most I ain't fail us yet. Can. All right. That's it. All right. So, with that, Lord willing, we hope that this lesson was edifying and you take from it what you need. Okay, you always say, take off the meat and leave the bone. If you don't want any wickedness, repent. All right. So, with that, we're going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakradash, Shalawam, and Abad Babal.